This image is found in many cultures, specifically among those of royal lineage. But there is a quite scientific explanation. A disorder known as porphyria. In short, it is caused by a deficiency of the iron in the blood, and in many cultures, for the nobility that could conceivably get away with the cure, the treatment was to drink human blood. Perhaps drinking the blood of your enemies is, if nothing else, symbolic. It can inspire fear in your foes and dissidents, don't misunderstand me, I in no way believe it was a vampire. Vampires, that's what caused this whole mess. These maniacs believe they exist. Uh, that is, you see, in archaeology, one can spend years looking for a dig site. Following local rumors, studying old maps, it's a complicated process, very boring. Finding and organizing a dig is the least interesting part of an archaeologist's job. Trust me, you don't want to hear about it. That I can't be sure of, nor can anyone. But I promise you, it is more likely to be filled with, uh, gummy bears than vampires. Perhaps maybe a mummy, but not likely the kind to go about chasing Abbott and Costello. Not much, really. I'm an archaeologist, not a mythologist. But I do know that Lamastu, the Assyrian demoness, was thought to have been the inspiration for Lilith, the first wife of Adam in the Jewish Old Testament, another source of the vampire myth. Ah, quite interesting. There is a surprisingly complex mechanical lock on the face of the sarcophagus. By sheer luck, we were able to find the key not far from the sarcophagus. Why no one ever found it and robbed it, it's perplexing. How strange, you would ask. I haven't seen the key since it was loaded onto the Elizabeth Dane in Turkey. It was stolen before the sarcophagus, even. I am still hopeful that the police find both pieces before the contents can be disturbed. No, it's not the kind of key you can copy at the hardware store. It's actually very sophisticated, and I meant to study it at the museum. I've answered all your questions. Do you think now you could please get me out of here? I don't care who you are or why you've had so many questions about the sarcophagus. I just want to leave this place. Thank you, my friend. I don't know where you came from, but I will never forget this kindness. Your time of judgment is here.
heard anything. Kind of musky. Did you hear the one about the tuna and the chef? A tuna walks into a sushi restaurant, says to the chef, Hey, you killed my father, chef says to the tuna. That's my business, fish. Tuna thinks about it, says, Then I challenge you to a game of chess. If I win, you stop being a chef forever. And if I win, asks the chef, You can feed me to your customers, tuna replies. So the chef and tuna play chess. Tunas love to play chess, so in a few moves, the chef was checkmated. Well, looks like I win, says the tuna. Chef nods and plunges his knife into the fish's belly. But I won, says the tuna, as he feels the knife wiggling into his guts. So did your father, says the chef. I had a dream this afternoon, as I lay napping near where you sleep. I was running behind you in the moonlight. When I tripped and fell, I looked up and you were gone. And then I noticed what I tripped on. My corpse. But I... I have to wake up. Get ready for school. What a weird dream this has been. What a strange person to dream about. <sighs> Goodbye, master of my dreams. <laughs> You can always count on the Sabbat to do the wrong thing for the right reasons. They're reckless, but they don't normally try to attract this much attention. This carelessness warrants observation. I hope it doesn't become pandemic. Well, perhaps for this pack, it's for the best. What did Johansson have to say? Lamastu? She was a Lilith figure. They represent empowered women and the threat of such women to male-dominated society. Strange she would be engraved on a king's tomb. A Syrian origin. Glad to see I'm not losing my touch. As for Meserach, I'll have to research that name, see what I can find. The lock and key. An invention as ancient as greed. I should have guessed. All we have to do is find a victor in this nonsense. They'll be the one with the key. Excellent. It's simple. Someone's misled them into believing there's an antediluvian in this very room. They, and I suspect most kindred in this city, would love to sink their stakes or teeth into its imagined occupant. If indeed rocketing it to the moon was out of the question. Well, perhaps for this pack, it's for the best. Excellent. Hmm. I've said quite a lot about myself already. I know even less about you than you do me. Why don't you tell me about yourself?
I consider myself a seeker of reluctant information. Scholar sounds like academia. Ugh. How versed are you in the occult? When you have a year or two, you should really invest time in seeking out a copy of The Book of Nod. It's a collection of kindred lore, with a few annotations by a certain renowned gangrel explorer. Unless you've got further questions, I'd really like to get back to looking at the sarcophagus. With whom do they think they're dealing? Attack me in my own building! They're desperate. <laughs> They've shown their weakness. A last-ditch attempt to steal the prize. The Sabbat. A pack of shovelheads with cheap pistols was all they could muster. Two got a few stories up, but I took care of them. And my sheriff brought the rest their final death in the lobby. Sabbat animals. No matter how many times you think you've wiped them out, they always come back. This time their target is the Ankaran sarcophagus. They will not stop until they've feasted on the ancient they believe to be inside. Diablerists. The Sabbat's infamy is in no small part due to their practice of Diablery. That is, drinking the blood of other kindred, especially older ones, until they are dead. Diablerists gain the power of those they've fed upon. And the Camarilla, this is an act punishable by death. For the moment, we've manipulated the press into reporting tonight's events as a terrorist attack. Their soldiers may be no danger to me, but their threat to the masquerade is abundant. As my best agent, I'm sure you can guess my course of action. The Sabbat have made their haven at the Hallibrook Hotel, right under our noses here in downtown. Kill their leader. The rest will scamper out of the city. This is the last time they ever set foot in Los Angeles. Before you go, Beckett told me you went to the Society of Leopold. Did you find out how my sarcophagus is opened? Take your money. Tell me, what have you learned? A key? Where? Do you have it? <laughs> Not only did you infiltrate the Society of Leopold, but you managed to kill their greatest hunter. You certainly are developing a legend for yourself. Superb. A toast to you, and to victory over the Sabbat. And to Bach. May all his progeny meet such fates. The Sabbat must be wiped out before dawn. Then, when you come back, we'll begin the hunt for the key.